Today, we're gonna to be hooking up our Creality Sonic Pad to the Ender 3 Pro, which uses Clipper firmware, which is just an upgrade to the old firmware that the Ender 3s use. And this is really just gonna help us print things faster and at higher quality. We used to run the Ender 3 Pros at about 60 to 80 millimeters per second without the Micro Swiss NG Direct Drive. And then with that, we got it up to like 100, 150. And now with the Sonic Pad, we're over 200. If you do wanna see the upgrade of the Direct Drive, we do have a whole video about that on our profile. To start off, you can go ahead and plug her in and turn it on. We already have two printers connected, so we're going to be adding another device and just make sure you're in the correct USB port. You can see a nice schematic here to help out. Then you just pick the correct type of printer. With the Atmega printers, you do have to upload a boot motor as well, but we've already done that. There are quite a few long wait times during this process, but just be patient. Now that the firmware has been flashed, it'll run through the steps to test the printer. First up is the fans. Be sure the throat cooling fan, as well as the print cooling fan, are working properly. Then we'll go ahead and start the leveling process, and ideally you should check each of the four corners twice. It is nice though, you just have to click the screen and it moves over to each corner on its own. And then you should get this nice message. Let's start our experience. But before we get to the printing, we're just gonna run some PID calibrations. We run the nozzle around 210 and that'll take about five minutes to heat up. And then the hot bed up around 60 and that one takes about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna do some resonance tests. We'll use this sensor that comes with the sonic pad and attach it to this nice custom printed bracket to test the X axis. Once that's done, we'll remove the sensor from the bracket and tape it down to the center of the hotbed to test the Y-axis. Once those are all good, we can remove and unplug the sensor and move on. Make sure you have filament already loaded in there and let's go ahead and do a test print. Be sure you're selecting the correct printer if you have multiple connected. And we're just gonna go ahead and slice a test cube. One click printing should send it right over to the sonic pad and start printing. Around 28 minutes later and there you have it, a nice little test cube. This thing is really cool and it's also capable of hooking up to multiple printers at once. And if you want to go the extra mile for aesthetics, the printers don't even need screens anymore. If y'all like this one, go ahead and check out that other video where we upgrade our Ender 3 to a direct drive and don't forget to follow so you don't miss some of our cool prints and more tutorials.